a new event with a mission to showcase the best in young talent and advance gender equality in the game. The Julius Baer Challengers Chess Tour starts on April the 8th. Two chess legends taking control of two teams of young and talented players. Their job is to mentor them, coach them and get them ready for battle. Why? Because these exciting young players, handpicked by our experts, are being given a shot at the big time. The winner of each tournament will get a golden ticket to the $1.5 million Meltwater Champions Chess Tour to compete against the best in the world. It's their chance to break into the big time, but to get there, they must mobilize all of their young talent. It's Team Polgar versus Team Kramnik. Who will come out on top and will we find the next big talent in chess? Watch the Julius Baer Challengers Chess Tour live on Chess24. Uh, good evening, everyone, to this Tactics Frenzy session. And I will just uh, start and I will try to mix it up a little bit to see uh, the different versions. So <clears throat> I haven't done a lot, so I don't think my rating is uh, very accurate, but we'll see what happens. Uh, so it's white to play. And the question is, how should we uh, proceed? Well, the, these two are a bit hanging, but also the queen is a bit uh, out of place. So rook e4, I'm considering queen b5, and I don't see exactly what I have. Uh, also, the king is somehow vulnerable, but I don't see how I can uh, how I can get to it. Uh, I hope like knight h6 would probably win if he takes, but he does not need to take, so that should not be it. What else is there? Queen c3 would be nice to enter, but then queen f4 is coming. I do not want that. Uh, some sacrifices, or even some knight g5, trying to go to e6, but he will just take it. And I don't see, uh, I don't see the continuation. Probably something like rook e4. Queen moves to, let's say, b5. And can I play something like queen d1 and try to take the h pawn? It looks like an ID, but it's not super impressive. Uh, what can I do otherwise? Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I don't really see any other move than, than rook e4. I mean, rook c1, he will simply play something like bishop c5, and I'm completely blocked as far as I can see. Uh, rook e4, bishop d4, sort of blocked, but maybe I can still play rook h4. Try to get some activity there. Mm, what else? It's knight g5. Okay, but he doesn't. Can you just take it? Mm. Can I try to enter? Really don't know. Okay, let's see. Okay, queen b5. So at least the first move is correct. Now the question is how do I? I can also keep pushing the queen away with a4, but then probably queen c5, and there's counterplay on uh, against f2. Bishop d3, queen c5 looks like the same. Uh, so rook h4 immediately is the most tempting, but he would play king e7. I take an h5. Even some queen f1 will be there in the end. 
Rook H4, Queen F1. How good is that for me? Take an H5, take an F2, that looks dangerous. Queen F1, maybe Bishop D3. We should d3 immediately, he can take on d5. I don't know, I do not want that. Uh, does not look like the right way. And, or maybe is it? I mean, he wants, it's not so clear what black is doing either. So I could, ha I mean, I do have time if I want to play something a bit slower, but uh, not quite it. Also, queen d1 is similar to, uh, to rook h4 in that I want to attack the h pawn, but. Queen d1 looks very, very slow. Like bishop takes f2 and queen takes h5, queen f1. Uh, maybe rook g4, but it looks very, very slow. Rook h4, on the other hand, also looks slow. These puzzles were <laughs> more tricky than I thought. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, queen d1 takes, takes, queen f1. I can play rook g4 and I will not get mated, but I don't trust it at all. Uh, rook h4, king e7, rook takes h5. Something like queen f1, then bishop d3, then the ending must be and it looks very very good for me seven rook h4 king e7 rook takes h5 i don't know something like knight c5 or rook c8 even then i'm entering yeah i don't see anything i will go here place king e7 i have to take i guess otherwise he will defend Queen f1, and now, yeah, bishop d3 was my, my was my idea here because he's threatening the bishop and also taking an f2. So, yes, yeah, so last trade, rook h7, and finally, I think knight h6 because he has to move the rook and then I pick up the pawn on g7. So, <laughs> so that was a win, but it was quite quite tough, I have to say. Uh, and immediately on to the next one. So. Here, I mean, I can play knight f6 check and just g7. And then I'm winning the rook. He will take twice on g7. I go knight e8. I pick up pawn on d6. And then what, what is the problem? Why doesn't it just win? That's the question. Uh, because it looks a little bit too easy. Uh, knight f6, king h8. I don't have to play g7 immediately, but I can't see anything uh, stronger than that. I mean, I would like to play g7 immediately, let's say, but he can just take my knight, I think, and I don't see. So this knight on d4 is also covering all the squares. Uh, and if I start with h7, king h8, then I can't make progress. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't really... Knight f6, king h8, g7, takes, 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 knight e8, check. And as long as I can keep my pawn on d5 alive, which it seems to me that I can. So yeah, I'll just go for it. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Good, good. Uh, keep, let's keep going. Now we are black. Uh, white is up in exchange. But uh, we have this very dangerous H pawn, which I guess we should try to push in some way. The only question is how. Uh, so one way, one very tempting way is to try to get Bishop H5 check. With the point that if Black White plays King G3 to stop the pawn, can anyway play H2. Because after King takes H2, there is Bishop F4 check pick up the rook but after bishop h5 check on move one white will play king f2 uh, or king g3 h2 king uh, king g2 ah but then i have bishop f3 check yeah so 
Bishop h5 check, king g3, or king f2. I play h2. The only move to stop the pawn is king g2, and then I give check on f3. That looks clear cut. Uh, h2, he takes. Okay, that's a bit simpler because now I can simply pick up the rook. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, now we are white, but it's a bit. Uh, it's a bit of a mess in the position. Queen, the rook is hanging, but there's also some rook ga check, check uh, which could be coming like. Normally, I would like to play f7, but he will take the rook, or uh, black will take the rook, sorry. They will take the rook. Uh, on the other hand, maybe I can play a slow move because it's not so clear to me why why I'm in such a rush. I guess one point is if I play king f2, uh, they can play knight d4. They can't take it because the rook on e1 is hanging. So king f2, knight d4. And the point would be that after something like f7, there is queen d2 check, but then I can move the king. Yeah, so if I move the rook, then maybe knight d4 is a bigger issue. Because then if, when I, if I push f7, then my queen is hanging with check, so I need to uh, step out of this check. So I think I will try uh, king f2, because king f2 also steps out of this rook g8 check, which is very annoying. So king f2, there is queen d2 check, very, very tricky. Because then if I go rook e2, he can take it and play knight d4. So king f2, queen d2, maybe I simply go king f1. And there are no checks. Knight d4, still f7. Yeah, I will do it. Okay, queen b2, similar. If rook e2, he will take it. Uh, so I have to go to f1. He goes rook f8. Now I have to choose, apparently. Originally, I, th I thought both moves would be easily winning, but I guess taking with the queen is simple enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good evening, everyone, <laughs> those of you who tuned in. Uh, this is just some tactics. Um, tactics Frenzy, which I, I have to be honest, I have not used this app a lot before. Uh, but the, I like the exercises because they are quite challenging. Normally, on some of these online, uh, puzzle sites, uh, uh, it's a bit, uh, yeah, they are not so nice, yeah? they're either too difficult or too easy or too strange. So far these have been quite, uh, quite nice. So what is this? I mean, it seems to me like the first move is very obvious. So I, I have to capture the, the hanging piece, I guess. I think it will be possibly trickier on the next one. If I don't capture, I mean, white will just take on d8 or whatever. So I have to capture. <laughs> Am I freezing? No, I'm not, I'm not freezing. I'm actually good. We have uh, a spring in, uh, in Copenhagen where I'm living currently. So. Uh, I'm do I guess it's just nervous ticks when I'm trying to calculate. That uh, happens to chess players. Uh, yeah, so if I play queen a4, which seems to be the only legal square, then b3 would trap my queen. What I would like is to get two pieces for the queen, because I already have one, then I would have three. But uh, I can't see how, so I guess knight b6 is, uh, is the only uh, remaining option. Queen a4, b3. If I could get both the knight and the bishop, but I can't. I have to play knight b6. Ah, he simply takes on d8. It was a bit uh, surprising. Uh, if I take with the rook, should I actually take it all? It's another question. Because I can also take the knight on b5. So if I take with the bishop, then he takes on c5, or even knight a7. 
yeah, bishop takes does not uh, really make any sense. So rook takes, then knight a7, and it's very hard to defend c6. I think I will actually take on b5 instead. It's much more solid to me. Take on b5. He will take maybe on c5. But then bishop. Yeah, it's also scary. What is this? Both options are scary. So rook takes d8. Uh, knight a7. Uh, rook d6 to cover everything, but very, very shaky. b4, take, take, take. Then some c5 in the end. Now, what I would like to do is to take on c5. I just have to figure out. I take on b5, sorry, a takes b5, but he takes d takes c5. Uh, and then I don't know. Probably I can maybe still take, just take on d8. Could it be a takes b5, d takes c5, bishop takes d8, rook takes d8, and then just knight takes c5. Knight takes c4, sorry. Probably, yeah. Ah, he takes an e7 instead. That I thought was a bit less scary. Can I even take on c4? Okay, if I take with the rook on e7, then he takes on c5. I take on c4, rook d8, then rook e8. So if I want, if I can, I want to take on c4. But what what is the problem with that? Because I would still attack both the bishop and the rook on d3. So probably something like bishop takes f6. C takes d3, queen g4 is very, very dangerous. Uh, yeah, I guess I will take on, uh, on e7. Yeah, okay, correct. Uh, <laughs> very tough work, actually. And uh, yeah, good evening. Uh, good evening, people. I'm doing well. I'm fighting with these exercises that are <laughs> tricky. Uh, so here, what is this? And I don't have any plans of him bringing the dreadlocks back, if anyone is wondering. Here, I, rook takes f5, queen takes f5, bishop takes f5, bishop takes g4. Could that be? I mean, a very weird way to do it would be to start with the rook, and no, that cannot be the case. Hmm. Actually, actually, rook g3 makes some sense as well. Uh, because if it takes twice, then the bishop on e2 is hanging. So rook g3. Uh, the rook is hanging, and if it moves, then I can take on f5, and nothing is nothing is hanging for me, at least. Uh, yeah, rook g3 actually looks... Uh, Looks like a decent move. He takes, then I take with the h-pawn, and I have queen h4 check as well if he doesn't take. And if he takes, then he's mated. So rook g3 with id to take an f5 if he moves. Uh, so if I take immediately, then queen takes. Bishop takes, bishop checks g4, and I don't quite see. Uh, I mean, it will be some position with bishop bishops each and two rooks against the queen and that one is not not very clear as far as i can tell yeah i will play rook g3 ah, he takes is there any issue with just taking on e2 sorry uh yeah okay And now I, I entered some you know, some other spectra, so probably exercises will be even trickier. But uh, the first one actually does not look so tricky because we are we are white. But I think rook e4 is simply mate in two. Very strange mate. Uh, 
<laughs> so let's see. Maybe somehow when I'm in this new spectra, it's easier. I don't know. That would be that would be very weird. But it does look like so far it's it's smoother. E5, Queen D2 check, King B1. Uh, so far, so good. He has to move the knight. So they have to move the knight. Knight e4, for instance, aiming at some back rank weaknesses. Uh, then something like rook takes f7, king takes queen h7 is very, very dangerous, but I'm not entirely convinced it works. But the main thing here is that I don't really see any other move than e5, so I guess I might as well play it. I mean, if, if I don't see any alternative, then, uh, then I must do it. And I have to play this, only legal move. Knight d5 instead of knight e4, but very similar in style. Uh, so. so takes on f7, king takes. Queen h7, king e8. How good is that? Uh, queen takes g6, king d7, king e7, king d7. What do we have then? Queen d6, check king c8, queen takes c6, knight c7. Those are quite uh, long variations. I'm looking for a simpler alternative. Uh, what if I just take the knight? And thank you, Kent Mill. <laughs> thank you. Uh, yeah, what if I just take the knight? Knight takes, rook takes, queen f6. It's maybe just mate, because f7 is hanging. So he has to take with the queen. And then the, the reason I did not really originally want to do it is that he has this queen d1 mate, if I'm not careful. but. Probably I'm mating first because queen, or am I? There's also rook takes g6 immediately, f takes queen uh, f6, but then he will move to the side. Hmm. Knight takes d5, queen takes d5, threatening mate on d1. Queen f6, king f8. Uh, I guess, I mean, I, I might even have time for a slow move somewhere there because my position is quite dominating, but it feels a bit weird if it's suddenly a slow move that is the solution. What else do we have? Rook h5 immediately would also be threatening mate. If he takes on c3, b takes, I'm no longer first rank mated, or mated on the first rank. To rook h5, probably they have to play rook h8. Uh, but then maybe I can play knight takes d5. Rook takes h5. Yeah, no, it does not look so impressive. So I really want to take an f e6, take an f7 if it's working, but uh, I don't see. I simply don't see it. Mm -hmm. Any tips for me <laughs> in the chat? <laughs> Some help. Rook h5, rook h8. No mate to be seen. Knight e4 is another move. Just uh, bringing another guy to the attack. Uh, because if knight c3, then I can still take it. And if the queen moves, then it, were I to take on uh, on f7, then uh, at least I have knight in, in the attack as well. <laughs> Complicated situation, exactly. Uh, so takes, king takes, queen h7, with the knight e4, queen e3 included. Uh, Yeah, it's. Uh... I mean, the thing is that in this position, it's also quite promising 
to sort of make normal uh, attacking moves. That's why it's uh, it's additionally trickier because for sure uh, it will be something very concrete in the solution. Uh, so knight e4, queen e3, threatening my rook, so I have to really act quickly then. Takes, takes, queen h7. Ah, takes, takes, knight g5, actually. Ah, is that a, or an option? Or he can run, he can still run, yeah? King e8. Hmm. And if I combine the ideas, yeah, it's for, I, I don't see this knight takes. Uh, I will go here. Uh huh. And it did not work. Knight d4 was not the move. What is the move? Knight d5 e6. Ah. Yeah, a little bit slower, but in the same style, like not fearing to the capture on c3 because b takes c3 and i'm running so just e6 bringing the pawn to the attack and uh, there is simply no defense okay so this was the solution let's yeah okay this uh, this already is not so difficult they always let you play out till till mate so uh let's continue now black. So first loss, then my rating is going down. Now I got uh, under this 2200 barrier. That was a bit, uh, it was a bit sad. So let's see, knight takes e3, f takes e3, bishop takes g3, uh, king takes g3, queen e5 check, king f2, queen h2 check, king e1, and he's running away. Not what we want. So here, I think if knight takes e3, f takes, bishop takes g3, king takes, queen g5 check. It's very smart. Because the important thing is to keep the king in the killing zone, as, uh, as they call it. And the killing zone is definitely somewhere here. If he goes to e1, he would escape the killing zone. Uh, so I will take on uh, e3, I will take on g3. I will play this key check on g5. If it goes to h2, I have queen e5 check, and now I can go here. And this is checkmate. Uh, so, next one. Now it's uh, <laughs> even taking some time to understand what uh, color I am playing. Uh, I am white and I'm trying to stop the pawns from promoting. Just if I'm planning on streaming again, I will play a banter blitz tomorrow evening actually, and uh, also with the Q and A at uh, at the same time, like eight o'clock uh, Central European time. Uh, that's my next thing, and then in the in the weekend I will actually play a tournament, like the European uh, Club Cup online for uh, for Hamburg, my Bundesliga club since many many years. Uh, so th those are the next two things on the agenda. But for now, there is uh, there is tactics, and for now there are two pawns that I need to stop basically before <laughs> thinking about anything else. So bishop f7 is what uh, intuition tells me, because after d2 I will take on h5. But the problem is that the knight will give an annoying checks. Uh, bishop f7. So let's say my g4 check. King takes h5 or king g5, then d2 and the pawns. Ah, then I can play rook a1. So bishop f7. If d2, bishop takes h5, they are stopped on the same diagonal. So f3 seems to be the remaining option. But then I take an h5, f2, rook f6. f1, take, take. Yeah, but that's not so impressive. Then I'm not, uh, it's not clear that I'm winning. So bishop f7, f3 takes f2. That is unpleasant. Uh, 
<laughs> one of the drawbacks of me <laughs> of tournament chess returning that I stopped streaming. Yeah, I mean, that's actually true. Uh, <laughs> the, the main reason for me not streaming anymore is uh, is that I'm simply studying chess all the time and preparing for tournaments that are coming back. So for good and bad, uh, the tournaments are back. But in my case, I mean, I, I like streaming, but playing serious tournaments is is more fun. It's very hard to uh, uh, deny that for me. So bishop f7. Ah, wait, yeah, it says wait to defend, yeah. Ah, you mean that I'm simply I'm simply not lost there after bishop f7, yeah? IBN 2K is saying that it's white to defend. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm fighting there with h pawn in the end. I did stop both pawns at least. Uh, probably if I play something like rook a1, f3, or even d2, no, probably f3, bishop f7, f2, bishop takes h5. Yeah, so probably I will, I mean, good point. Uh, I mean, it might simply be the only way to stop the pawns from, from queening. Just give up both the bishop and the rook. Uh, good point. Yeah, I will try to do it. I will take. Play rook f6. And yeah, OK, <laughs> thank you. That was actually uh, uh, <laughs> very helpful insight from, from chat. Uh, that I only needed a draw, which probably I should have realized. Uh, so queen g4 check, king h8, queen f5, looks winning. What is the problem? King f6, queen g5, king e6, bishop f5 is mate. I mean, you can play knight f6, but that should also just be mate. Yeah? Very puzzling. I don't understand. I will do it. Ah, okay. He actually wants me to, uh, to or it wants me to to deliver a clear mate, but surely this is mate many ways. Takes king f6 again, killing zone. She should not be allowed back to e7, so I go queen h4. King e6 f5 is mate, and if he goes back, then I will mate. So queen h4 is the key move. Uh, checkmate. So. If I have any uh, recommendation uh, against queen d3, and I don't know if that is sort of a, uh, a joke or if it was a serious question. Uh, I did manage to lose two games against queen d3 neither uh, in Tata, that's right. Uh, I guess the third guy who will play it against me will, uh, <laughs> will find out what I think about queen d3. Uh, I will not uh, reveal any secrets there. Uh, if anyone dares. Yeah, no, I understand. <laughs> it's a serious question, yeah. Uh, they will simply find out. <laughs> okay, so what is going on here? This is very strange. Uh, because the rook is hanging on e2, but my queen is hanging. Uh, so rook takes g6 is the first line that one would calculate. Knight takes g3, rook takes g7, king takes, h takes g3. And I will win another exchange, but as I was down so much material from the beginning, I don't think it's uh, it's enough. Uh, what else is there? I mean, queen takes g6 does not impress, then just rook takes b2. Maybe moving the queen is an option. <laughs> it's very rare that you are supposed to move uh, uh, in such a in such puzzles. Maybe I can go to. It looks very strange, but can I just go to g4 with the queen? No, there are too many problems with that. Like rook e1, for instance, king f2. There is rook f1 check, which is quite uh, annoying, and there is a fork. Uh, 
white to regain material is the it actually says up here white to to regain material so rook takes g6 knight takes g3 takes takes does not impress the bishop is hanging as well uh Let's see. Rook takes g6. Knight takes g3. Uh, yeah, I, but I simply don't see it there. What else is there? Queen takes g6. Rook takes b2. Queen takes g7. He will take with the knight, which is very important, so that I don't have any checks. And that also seems fine. Uh, yeah, it's all about combining all these loose uh, pieces for black. Uh, I would like, but the problem is in general, uh, if I give my rook, then I can't take both his rooks. Like uh, my bishop is attacking both, it, but it will only be able to take one of, of, uh, of the rooks. Uh, so what is this? Bishop takes e2, knight takes g3, does not make any sense. Then queen g4 check also. Ah, very smart, very, very smart. CCC chess. Ah, queen takes g6, rook takes b2, bishop d5 check. And when the king moves, I will take on g7, combining my ideas. Because if king takes, then I have a check and the rook is hanging. But if knight takes, it's actually mate. That's actually a very beautiful. That must be it, I think. Uh, yeah, that's very beautiful, actually. And now the key move takes. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, so this one. And OK, I think I will also, in uh, in order to, uh, to try a few different things, I will also do this. Uh, on time, where you are trying to solve a lot of puzzles on uh, with, with a limited time. This I have not really tried, I think, before, but should be fine. And also, uh, some question: If I plan on making a course for chessable, yeah, probably yes. Although we will, uh, I mean, you should uh, uh, look out for news about that later on, but. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and also thank you for the uh, review of the of the Queen's Gambit course that I did for Ginger GM. Yeah, no, I, I did one course and that was actually quite fun uh, with the uh, for for Ginger GM about the Queen's Gambit. And uh, so I will uh, probably do at least another course. But then again, uh, chess tournaments are also starting, so uh, time is. <laughs> there are too many interesting things to do in life. Uh, but let's try this one now. And this is now on time. The clock is ticking, so try to hurry up. So, hang on. How do I? How do I get that out of, out of the checks? King f1, queen c4 does not look correct. Or bishop c4, sorry. Probably I have to take it. But then queen c5. Am I actually hiding from the checks? What is this? I thought it was very easy in the start. King f1, bishop c4, king e1. Looks like I'm going to get mated. Ah, king f1, bishop c4, knight e2 takes king e1, yeah. And same here, I can still go knight e2. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. What is this? Queen g8, king d7. If king c7, OK, it has to be queen g8, at least. That's clear. And I want to give a check on g3. That is my uh, my main hope here. But how do I get it? Queen f7 check, 
King d6, Queen. I mean, normally you would play this Queen e7 and take the Queen on d1, but the Queen on d1 is protected. Uh, so how do we do this? Could it be that I'm just supposed to make a draw? I don't know if it's uh, if it's the case. Queen f7, King. Then you can go King d6 probably. That's no good. Uh, and if Queen g7 back, King back. Should I actually try to play for more than a win, uh, more than a draw? <laughs> Not for more than a win. It's queen f8. Maybe rook e8 is very dangerous. Uh, what is this? Queen e7 does not work. Queen queen f8, king d7. Uh, sorry, queen f8, rook e8. Could that be a problem? Hey, hey, hey such a mess. Queen e7, rook takes, f takes. That is the problem. King takes and the rook is hanging. But the queen is protected on d1. Just a draw. But how is it a draw, actually? I have to... What is this? I think I have to go here to stop the pawn. And now it's a draw. That was very, very dangerous. Very, very tricky. Let's uh, <laughs> hope that we'll get some simpler ones. What is this? Rook h5? Isn't it just winning? Rook h4, I will take, and rook on d3 is hanging. He has to give a check first. But then, what do I have? Uh, and what do I have? I have some queen c2. Probably it's mating. But where should I go with the king? That is the question. King f7, probably rook d7 is lying. Must be here. Check. And my whole point was that finally I get this rook g6 check. And now it should just be a matter of, of mating. How exactly? It's a bit unclear to me. It would just take. Yeah. Here, I think I will go here because it's threatening mating one and I'm running out of time. So check. Next one. I guess I need to take. Try to get the perpetual. Rook f3. Rook f8. Is that ruining my perpetual? Should I go here immediately instead? He's trying to run away. Okay, but he doesn't run away. Okay. So checking the seven, does that bring me any joy? There is also b4, then rook b. Two, king a1, yeah, no, that does not work. Oof, what should I do? Running out of time. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> uh, yeah, puzzle only five, only five puzzles in three minutes. That's not very impressive. <laughs> But I, I, I mean, I might be not very, uh, very good at solving puzzles. That's clear. But, uh, uh, but still, no. I think that the point is that you can choose the the mode. Uh, I mean, I can change. I can change to easy mode uh, if I want to. Then it's a bit easier. Probably less interesting. Because then, uh, I mean, I hope that I will be able to solve uh, the exercises a bit faster. This is now the easy mode. So this is more of the, what we are used to on uh, uh, on other sides, for instance. What is this? Probably just take, right? Yeah, this is not uh, not as interesting, I would say. This is. Uh, yeah, it does not make any. And the great sense you can you but you get the you get the like bishop b5 check here and so on you get the the point yeah that the, if you'd go for on the, on the different levels they are really quite different like on the hard one i'm really struggling to solve more than five six like half a minute each or so 
uh, maybe medium. I mean, yeah, I can try me medium as well. But then, I mean, to try to score maybe at least two digits. Uh, but I mean, normally, if I would do it myself, I would go only on on the hard one because I think it it makes a lot of sense to spend some, uh, let's say half a minute to one minute per puzzle, especially if you are trying to uh, uh, train for blitz and uh, and rapid. For classical games, maybe you should take even longer, in my opinion. But for, for blitz and so on, I think it makes a lot of sense to uh, solve these puzzles that takes you like half a minute or so. Yeah, this so far has been... Uh, not so challenging, but now maybe it starts. C3 takes C2, H7, C1, but there, there will be a check. There's always a check in the in the back in such positions. Uh, I do part. I do a lot of puzzles as part of my training. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I think it's it's a very useful way of uh, uh, of getting your sharpness up and so on. I was doing a lot before I played. Now, in the Magnus Carlsen Invitational, I was doing a few hours a day just to get uh, the speed up. Uh, and I, I did. Ha I mean, I did still blunder pieces, of course, but uh, uh, I think considerably less than if I hadn't done those hours of, of studies. Uh, so, what is this? Queen h1, King f2. I can take on e4, but then the rook is actually protected. What else? Knight f4 would threaten mate in two. King f2 does not seem to work, so. And actually not mate in two, but sort of mate, mate soon, I guess. How actually? Knight takes d5, bishop takes, bishop h6. Where is the mate? Speaking too soon. Knight takes d5. I mean, knight g6 is possible, but he will take my rook and promote, and I don't like it. So knight takes d5 must... Ah, it was not knight takes d5. Wow. Whoops. Now I will try to... Compensate for that. <laughs> and usually in puzzles, I'm very good at tilting after having failed one. Uh, I think most uh, people or most players are. <laughs> uh, what is this now? It's hanging on f7. Should I just play f5? Guess I just should play f5. There's also bishop, no, but bishop e8 looks absolutely insane. Uh, this one, okay, here probably f5, right? So the rook is trapped. Yeah, this was very, very strange. Yeah. Just when you're just marching with your passed pawn, it does not require so much. Yeah. Check. Oops, mouse slip. But yeah, no. In, in my for me, I think it makes more sense actually to go for uh, for the hard ones. I mean, it's more in my uh, in my style. I'm thinking a bit slowly. So uh, let's just see. Talking about MCA, what was the thoughts behind the early rook lift in the Sicilian against uh, from Forest? Uh, yeah, no. I mean, we cannot go into detail, but it was typical uh, Polonevsky maneuver. You play in the Sicilian. You play the rook from A8 to A7, and then to D7 into the center to cover the key squares uh, in the center that is a common idea but not so common in the modern lines because well it's it does not always work uh, but let's go back to hard why not puzzle should be challenging otherwise uh, you will learn nothing so what is this queen f1 king d2 i'm just trying to make a 
petrol, I assume. Queen b8 is not uh, a way to play for the win. So you just give a million checks. Uh, I guess. Only, the only question is where is the uh, that million? <laughs> Queen f2, king c3. Because he cannot go to c3, that's the point, because I will always take, so I can just keep checking, I guess. Yeah. So next one. White. Can we actually win this? Or are we in danger of losing? Surely we are not in danger of losing, but we are maybe in danger of making a draw. Knight e7 is threatened. Uh, can it really matter where I go with the bishop? It's winning if I j can just get my pieces sort of out, away. So probably just move this away and Apparently not. Uh, this looks like the famous, uh, what, whoever it was, Ty Taimanov, or I think it's Taimanov that you give this check. He was doing it in a cuter way, but uh, uh, same theme. Let's see now. I guess rook g8. Because king h1 does not seem. Ah, no, and now this one, which I actually started the day with. Okay, so they are recurring a bit, these exercises. This one was very, very, it took me like a couple of minutes to solve. Uh, but it's easier the second time. <laughs> and thank you, IVN 2K. Those are some very nice words. This 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 is just mate like you do with the uh, rook and bishop against rook. And now there is a pawn, so we should probably be careful to to stop that one. How do we do that? F4, king h6. I should not allow king h6 because then I'm running out of checks. Uh, queen f4, king g6, queen e4, king h6. Probably just give checks. And if I go here to e3, what is the difference? One difference is that I can go to e8, which looks actually very solid. What is this? Queen f4 or queen e3? Uh, Queen e3, king g4, that can never be an issue. Wow, I did not understand at all what was going on. Whoops, I ran out of time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Only four puzzles solved in uh, these three minutes. So time goes quite fast on... Uh, on uh, on hard. But last time was really weird because it really felt like you would uh, uh, play this d6 and give the fork, but maybe it's just a draw after that, so you should play a call move. But very weird. Uh, and I'm, I'm not too, too sure what I feel about people believing that I'm in my 40s. <laughs> One more time. This time, I am. I should actually try to be a bit faster in the beginning. F3, A7, F2, A8, F1. Could that actually be winning? What is the alternative? So Rook D1 check. King moves. I go Rook D8. C7. I move my Rook. Am I actually faster than? So F3, A7, uh, Rook A1, 
C7, F2, C8. So F3, A7, F2. Oof. No, F3, A7, rook. Ah, then rook D1 and rook D8, probably. That makes a lot of sense. Because rook F2, A8, F1 is not clear at all. But rook D1, I have gained one move, I think. What? Ah, okay, he went to C5. I thought he would go to E5. Ah, he went to C5. Ah, then I have to go to A1, and then I have this check in the in the back. Ay, ay, ay. That was a bit sad. Uh, knight C5 check. King E7, I have Queen G4. Uh, so Knight C5 check. King E7, Queen G4, there is Knight D8. Is that an issue? Hmm. Probably not. A d4. That's a bit weird. Can I just take here now? Apparently not. Very strange. Mm -hmm. What is this? I guess I need to take. Now normally you would sacrifice both the rooks on the <laughs> on the h file and then bring the queen, but I can't see that it works currently, so. I will have to do something else. Uh, what is this now? Can I just go rook dh1, yeah? And there is no defense against the mate. And just, well, checkmate. Now queen d5 is a threat and queen a6 is a threat, so. Try to stop both, but that's very difficult. Uh, C4 would stop Queen A6, which I think is the more dangerous of the two. But Queen D5. A5 probably. Yeah? Queen D5, King A6, giving me a safe square on A6. Yeah, that's that's it. Uh, Rook G2. King e2, f3, king d1. Looks. Yeah, because knight takes f2 was there. This this takes. Ah, first check. And then check. And then I have to really hurry up now. Uh, guess. Take. And g takes f3. What is this now? Can I place, oof, what do I need to do? C6, take C7. Uh, what else is there? Knight D7, F takes, yeah. Okay, five So It seems like uh, that's more or less what, uh, how much time I have in this uh, three minutes. But I like the concept. I like this hard because when I'm solving this rushes and so on, like the first couple of minutes, it's not... Uh, so interesting, solving 20 mating ones and so on. Uh, but yeah, these ones, uh, these ones are nice actually, I have to say. Uh, and yeah, no, so I think we are soon reaching uh, the finishing time because this was just a very small session, one hour. Uh, but I will be back at the same time tomorrow. So eight o'clock European time for Banter Blitz. So if you, if you are premium members, you can challenge me then and it will also be uh, a, a longer session, two hours. So uh, uh, I guess uh, I will see you. See you then, or I hope I will see you then. At least we can say. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed some some puzzle solving and both seeing me succeed and fail. And also, yeah, tomorrow there is also Q and A. So you can, I will be having plenty of time to answer all your questions as well. Uh, but yeah, thank you for this evening and uh, the rest of the questions tomorrow.
A new event with a mission to showcase the best in young talent and advance gender equality in the game. The Julius Baer Challengers Chess Tour starts on April the 8th. Two chess legends taking control of two teams of young and talented players. Their job is to mentor them, coach them and get them ready for battle. Why? Because these exciting young players, handpicked by our experts, are being given a shot at the big time. The winner of each tournament will get a golden ticket to the $1.5 million Meltwater Champions Chess Tour to compete against the best in the world. It's their chance to break into the big time, but to get there, they must mobilize all of their young talent. It's Team Polgar versus Team Kramnik. Who will come out on top and will we find the next big talent in chess? Watch the Julius Baer Challengers Chess Tour live on Chess24.